Truxton Hasley. I was always kind of on the fringe of knowing him. I can picture him in my mind uh, painting on the east side of the pond at Hoops Park, Auburn, New York, when I was probably in elementary school, um, standing up to his knees in snow. And at first we were kind of puzzled why he would be there. And finally, one of us in the neighborhood um, was brave enough to go over and ask what he was doing. It was, although it was very obvious. And he was very nice, introduced himself that it was a great day to paint a winter scene of Hooks Park, especially with all the kids skating. And he didn't say anything, he was just painting away. And um, years later, I saw the painting and I swear my friends and I are in it and I'm in the red coat. What I could find about uh, uh, Truxton Hasley was that he was born in Pennsylvania and he was born in 1914 and at some point around 1936-37 he moved to the Auburn area when he was about 21 or 22 years old and he got married in Auburn to Isabel Tracy in 1938 and then subsequently worked for the Finger Lakes Press as a layout man and as a photographer and had a side job during the 40s and 50s as a, a magician and he worked all over the state of New York doing shows. While he was in Auburn he had two children and they lived in Auburn until approximately 1972 uh, at which point they moved to Florida. My mother decided that she wanted to have a portrait painted of my father's paint store. He owned the business. I'm very proud of it. He was very successful. So she commissioned Hosley to paint the portrait. Um, so we went to his house uh, to take the initial payment to him. And she asked the questions, you know, you can't be out in front of his business. This is going to be a surprise. What are you going to do? How are you going to paint this? And he brought out, again, this was 1971, 72, the new modern um, Polaroid camera. And he said, I'm going to go down on a Sunday. I'm going to take plenty of photos. He said, then I'll paint from there. He said, then on a Sunday, I'll get the final details um, with actually painting out across the street. He said, but I'll have you come over a few times so that you can see my pro progress. So that's what we did. Um, and each time I went there though, he, to me, he was a nice man, very friendly and always pulled a quarter out of my ear, which when you're nine years old, getting a quarter pulled out of your ear is a big thing. Um, but I remember being in his living room and I can remember paintings everywhere, leaning against his couch, against the walls and the chairs everywhere. Um, but always very friendly. And every time we went, he would make a little more progress on the painting and it came out identical to what the store was. Um, and my, remember my mother gave it to my father. He was very much taken aback and my father was, well, like I said, he owned a paint store. He was, you know, not the, the emotional type of guy, but it definitely took him back and that painting hung in that paint store. Uh, my father passed away in 92 and then it hung at my mother's house and as legacy goes, it's hanging in my dining room now. So we go back to the winter of 1967, North Street, where my grandparents had a fish market that went to my parents. Across the street from the fish market was Truxton Hosley. He was all set up near the statue in front of the police station. He was going to paint the street and offer it to the various merchants. Um, very shrewd on his part because we all knew the end of North Street was coming through either urban renewal or the New York State arterial. So sure enough, he finished a lovely painting. My mother dearly wanted it. The Hosley paintings that I have in my office were at Reardon's Restaurant, which is my late husband's um, parents' restaurant that they had um, back in the 70s and 80s. And once the restaurant closed, um, my mother-in-law had them stored at her home. When I opened my real estate company, Reardon Realty, in 2009, 
Um, my late husband asked his mom, you know, where the paintings were and if I could hang them at my office. And she said, absolutely. No, I haven't sold any of the buildings that he has painted, um, but a couple of the paintings do have, um, you know, personal meaning to me. One is Reardon's restaurant that you see here at my office. And um, the other one is the post office because my late father-in-law, Ray Reardon, was the postmaster at one point. So that's pretty interesting. And of course, you know, I don't have the Hoops Park one, but you know, everyone knows Hoops Park. They've ice skated there or walk there, but you know, that's, that's an Auburn landmark. My in-laws actually commissioned him to come over to their house when they lived on South Street here in Auburn and um, had him do these paintings. Many of these artists were all the same. They would make these paintings to make a living. Hosley would sell them to businesses to, you know, for 50 or 100, well, probably 50 or less. And that's how he made his living, or that's how he supplemented some of his income. If you think back to it, you look at some of these paintings and most people will probably wouldn't think they're worth anything. You know, unless they, of course, unless they knew the history. So I wonder all the time, how many of these ended up in the dump? How many of these just got thrown out because people said, oh, this is just nothing. You know, I, I, I probably hundreds and hundreds of these gone forever. The U.S. Navy had commissioned a, a ship called the USS Cuga, so he contacted the Navy, as he often did, uh, with, with possible buyers and said, look, I've got a picture of uh, Cuga Lake, which is the namesake of your new ship. Would you, would you like it? And they, so he sent them a copy of that painting, and they invited him out to San Diego for the commissioning of the ship, at which point he painted the ship and brought it back to Auburn, and now it hangs at uh, the County Legislature Building in Auburn.